Our next panelist is Shirin Mazen Zadeh, um, president of the Borough, I'm going to say this incorrectly. What was that? Borogendi? Okay. Um, the Civil Rights Group. And she will be presenting on traditional art to serve for conflict resolution. Good afternoon. Uh, my name is Shirin Mazenzade. Um, as she told you, um, I'm president of the BCR group or Burjordi Civil Rights Group um, and our organization advocate human rights and civil rights, especially for Iran. Uh, I'm so grateful to be here with you in this conference and I'm going to share with you um, the um, uh, how traditional art served for 100 years um, as a way to resolve conflicts in Iran. Yeah, let me find a way, okay. Uh, at first I wanna tell you some, a little bit about Iran and um, actually old Persia, where was it located and um, what kind of art they had in old Persia. Um, the Persian Empire was a series, a series of dynastic that lasted from the 6th century um, BC to 20th century AD and its height, the um, empire from the um, um, a valley in India to the uh, Europe and the southward to the Egypt. So you can see that it was a huge empire, Persian empire. Um, we um, chosen Iran as a case study because Iran was under several um, violent, um, violence um, storming of foreign armies uh, such as uh, Arab, Arab Muslims, um, um, Turkish, and also Mughals. And uh, um, during that, those war actually, many things changed in Iran, uh, especially the location merged and changed. Persian art is, um, or Iranian art, um, uh, has one of the richest art heritages in the world history and has been strong in many media, including architecture, painting, waving, pottery, um, calligraphy, metalworking, and uh, sculpture. This presentation is mostly focusing on um, the role of traditional arts, including calligraphy and architecture for reducing tensions and conflict resolution, especially after Muslims' Arab attack. Indeed, the Iranian artists were able to find the beauty of um, art or beauty of each culture and uh, compile the cultural items to create new art um, items, new art products and symbols, and a new common culture um, for peaceful coexistence between victorious and uh, defeated nation. The Muslim conquest of Persia led to the end of Sasanid Empire of Persia and the eventual decline the uh, Zoroastrian religion in Iran, um, the former Persia. During two centuries after Arabian conquer, the Persians succeed to adopt Islam to protect, um, protect and revive their own language and culture. The Persian architectures had a distinctive influence over Islamic architectures. You know that they've been forced to change their language and their alphabet also, because it was war. For the first example of um, Iranian or Persian art, um, we have here a um, sample of taliq. It is a set 
of skills and techniques for positioning and ins um, inscribing words so they show integrity, harmony, and rhythm. After the introduction of Islam in the 7th century, Persian adopted the Arabic alphabet to Persian and developed the new official alphabet. They add some uh, letter to Arabic um, uh, alphabet, like pe, je, ge, che, that Arabic doesn't have that, those letters. This is the second example that um, in the past five year, 500 years, nastaliq has been predominate style for writing the Persian Arabic script. In the 14th, 14th, 14th century, Mir Ali Tabrizi combined two major scripts of his time, Nasq and Talir, and created a new Persian calligraphy um, style called Nas Talir. Calligraphy was one of the key arts developed by Iranian artists which have been used in documentation of many Islamic contexts and writing holy books, including Quran, after Arabic conquer. Calligrapher artists and scientists were assigned by Arab ruler in cultural or uh, some um, administrative centers or even religious school um, so they can um, they can share their uh, beliefs, art, and, and their thought. You can see some, you know, some method in this writing. Um, I know that you cannot read the Arabic or Persian, but I can watch, right? writing this right and making some you know scripts like that <coughs> after that we have a Tari Khan mosque I told you that Iranian were Zoroastrian before Islam and they have fire temple they um, and they gather and um, gather in the fire temple and pray for their God. And after Muslims, um, they, re they rebuilt the Tari Khani or fire temple to mosque. Tari in Persian means um, dark, no fire, a place with no fire, and Khani means house. So still the name is a house with, without fire. But um, um, uh, Muslims gather over here and pray for God. And this is show um, a, an example of how they resolve this conflict. Because Muslims can come over here, and also Zoroastrians are welcome to come over here. This is uh, also the fire temple, temple for them. There is no fire on it, but still they have this place. As you see um, a structure of these um, architectures that they use for uh, making mosques, um, there's a combination of uh, Muslims or Islamic architecture and also uh, Persian arch arch architectures that comes from Sasanian um, century. And they use the, this curve. And the crown stone that you can see, the top of that um, entrance door actually, this is the entrance door. So as you see, the architectures share their uh, style and their method to build new places. Actually, this, these are the most religious places. So they, solve the kind, they kind of solve the, resolve the conflict between two different religions. 
This is another picture of that um, Tari Khan mosque, that mosque. Uh, it has two minara, but this picture just shows you um, one minara. You can see, if you close, um, if you look at this close, you can uh, see the pattern and the style of this minara. It has a beautiful pan pattern and surface of this minara. The other example is the Vank Cathedral uh, in Isfahan, Iran. Um, cathedral, I'm sorry. Uh, this cathedral um, built in um, 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 and um, in Shah Abbas. Uh, <laughs> she's telling me that I'm run out of time, so um, I'm trying to make it summarize. Uh, so Shah Abbas tried to help uh, some Armenian that. Um, um, king, uh, king of Ottoman, uh, Ottoman Empire, um, um, tortured them, and they uh, they didn't have any place to uh, go. So uh, Shah Abbas helped them and resettled them in Isfahan. Isfahan was um, the capital of Iran at that time. So it is a huge thing between a, you know the inside the capital of an Islamic country. There is a huge uh, cathedral of. Uh, um, you know, for Christian people. And you see, look at the um, architect, um, look at the style of this building. I have another picture, so closer. If you look at the ceiling, there is uh, some um, flower and also the um, color of blue and golden. It's um, from um, Iranian or Persian um, style. And you see that there is two uh, parts from the wall. The first, part, well, the first part is telling the story of uh, Jesus' life, and the second part uh, is about the story of Armenian and how they got tortured in um, their land. This is the, another view of the outside of that cathedral. You see that it is a combination of the mosque and um, church. The other example is a synagogue. There is a big synagogue, an old synagogue in Tehran in Yusufabad. And you see there is a, there is a style, Persian style of blue and gold and also Judaism symbol in this synagogue. This is another picture of this synagogue. And they are open in New Year and Rosh Hashanah for everyone. So everyone can go there in those special day, days. And the last picture is uh, from, the, uh, from my sister, actually. She is a student in, um, she, um, she's a student in Belgium. She's an artist student. And she, made, uh, she draw this um, uh, painting. And you see it uh, contains symbol of Islam and uh, also Christianity. And also, she used the calligraphy with the um, old or uh, traditional color from Persian traditional color. In conclusion, you can see how art or architecture, how um, artists could you know, gather common uh, culture or idea of faith even, uh, especially in monetism idea, and um, have, make a new thing, make a new thing, share something together, a mu make new art. and. Uh, um, with this way, they can resolve uh, conflict between, you know, differences between them. Thank you for listening to me.